Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hey everyone, Jason here with the Dance Plug exclusive. We're here on location at the rehearsals for the 2012 Chris Brown Tour Carpe Diem. And on the couch with us is powerhouse creative director, Fly Styles. Thanks for chilling with us. Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. Television. First and last time, Kirstie and I are going to perform her choreographed weight loss weapon with Fly. Here we go. Hit it, JR. Hit it. We're going to hit you with the shit you want. It's the ghetto from the Super Soul. Bad satchels of your life for what? Making ordinary street corners. In a day, from the purple hair, it's going to be the Today I meet Sue and Fly and James. May gonna we start something. I'm happy today. <laughs> Is it? No, I'm gonna work. Hello, Korea. You gonna say hi? Huh? Too late. I, I can say that. Was kind of sick of that. He wanted to be a big, break big in America. But I was just amazed. I was just amazed at his, his. I don't know. His setup, you know, that setup right there, the artist development setup is crazy. Matter of fact, if, if Fly Academy is triple deck like that, that would really be unique unto every, every dance, you know, opportunity out here in Southern California as a whole. Stacked up where you walk in, you got the gloss on the bottom shop. level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the plaques around here. You got different. You can tell what uh, music producers are working around here because they'll let their plaques be downstairs and it's nice. Cause then you go up on the other level and it's the dance and it's all that. You go up on another level and it's the music. Like, who doing that? We strike directly with the labels. I'm already in with Interscope. I'm already in with RCA. I'm already in with Epic. I'm doing, you know, $2,500 a day, just me, with anybody. That's just for me, the man, the myth, the legend, the fucking the dude. Mm -hmm. If we can facilitate it and really mm -hmm. put it on a level, shit, I can, get, I can get 10 grand a week, you know? That's just for something I bring in personally if we facilitate it. That's not to mention if they're running through our curriculum. Like, so it's not even about the investment in that, that land, that space, this, this facility I'm talking about. It's the business system they're in. We'll be the first ones to have the balls to implement it here in California. That's why I want to do for Academy, you know, and then it'll give way, you know, to a lot of me and Tommy. It's hard for, we had that, we had a, that, that language barrier, but we know what we, we know what we trying to do, and we've been at it for a while. You're a big help. And, and so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's one or the other, you know, with the dance facility thing. We franchise it or we blow minds out, you know? That is important, you know, from the basic. I met many black guys. Mm -hmm. How many black guys I met around? 20, 30. <laughs> but, you know, everybody always try a little play game with me. Yeah. Only focus on little shit. Yeah. But you want to say more, I say more. So actually, apply personally to me, like, uh, bro, I think of the most important is royalty. 
need a loyalty. True. We need a loyalty. Like, don't need to try fucking 1,000, 2,000, have to lie again. Fucking bothering. I met a lot of guys like that. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, I'm tired. But fly never come over one year. He already shut up his smile. When I say something, I do this project. He just helped me, but if I cannot make, just shut up. Then he know about maybe my inside. I know he's, he's so like a little Asian style. We know each other. Actually, I want to complain to you, but I shut up mouth. He have some situation. Mm -hmm. that you know that my situation, so don't need to talk about Ah, OK, not talk. Just keep watching, whatever. Right? So his personality like that, that is the most important part, partnership. When you, when you start business like that time, we, everybody have good relationship. Ah, good guy, bad guy, whatever. We are team. But when they have a little problem, that they start, start yelling each other, complain each other. Mm. So it's a broke up relationship. So I know this guy. This guy is uh, like just like a, don't complain. I better watch, shut up, and keep watching, and then to trust. So when I so many projects, that time I always complain, concerned about this guy. I have to work with him sometimes. That kind of thing. What's on his so, like? Right? So, but not only business need, or not only only relationship, but also he also got a. MTV Music Award, Best Character, Best Character Prize. The, he, he also worked with from Jackson Crow. Till now, he had a uh, Chris Brown. So that is a uh, real big value. But it's only my problem is I cannot advertise him. I was first time saw him. Fly, don't worry, I'm going to sell you. <laughs> don't worry, I'm going to sell you. Oh, yeah, he said. But I try many guys. But it's, uh, they don't apply. They're not interested in Chris Brown. So that is tragedy. So that is bothering. I believe him. I trust him. But little case, blah, 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 blah. So bothering. 1,000, 2,000, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So shut up. I give you 1,000. Shut up. And they shut up. It's bothering. But you know, every month we make money, but. I think a fly not gonna tell that. I don't know, but <laughs> still I believe it. you're not gonna do leadership. You wanna be mobile, right? Yeah, I am. I wanna be mobile. Yeah. So we not care about just leadership. We need a big picture. So from the beginning, we know that 100 is important. Exactly. That's why I respect you. you know? Yeah, and because, I got, you know. Because the other, the other part I respect you mean, you really care about your family. First and foremost. Yeah. Family care about man when he do business, really care about business. Exactly. That's why I respect that. Someone do I fucking like do business, but they never care about their family, me. Yeah, I won a VMA, that's cool. I've been nominated six times, though. You know, that's nothing new, you know. We don't brag about that. Um, we don't need to. I come from that one cusp, that one part of the era where Michael passed and everything that I got is in me from Michael now. They gotta get it from me. I have a bunch of other friends that have had the, you know, the privilege to get Michael Jackson's information and pass that down to the ushers and the Chris's and all of that, you know? And Chris, it's cool, Chris is still growing. He ain't even 30 years old yet. He has so much money by the time he was 25. <laughs> you know, God bless him, because he, he, he done dealt with so much. But I make Chris Browns for breakfast. I screw, put screws in little Frankenstein heads and watch them go uh, all the time. That's how I survive. That's how I eat. That's how I pay for my mortgage and have my little pool hall space to talk to y'all and whatever else I do. It's not hard for me to make stars, okay? To do a big investment like this, I just want to take what I'm known for, what I'm famous for, and facilitate it. I need somewhere to put all this 20 years worth of, I got inflow coming in, y'all. 
I just got two, three artists today, new artists, all separate labels, all requesting fly styles to choreograph. And I'm supposed to be old and falling off, getting outclassed and dated. I'm right the fuck in their face. I'm with the wildebeests and the, I got 30,000 followers, but I rank with the half a million and uppers because of my og -isms. I technically didn't need Instagram to be who I am and the youngsters know that. So they don't sweat my following because they all follow and look up to me. So I have to harness and use that power for what me and Tommy are doing. You understand? And what, the camaraderie, camaraderie that he's trying to keep alive. And the loyalty thing, it, it's on my body. Loyalty is royalty. I'm gonna die with that on my body. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I stick to my guns. That I do. You know what I mean? Chris Brown named his damn album that. After his daughter that. Uh, after me. I, me saying it so much. It's, it's, my, it's my whole thing. So yeah. You know, I could never be Korean. I could never be of, of y'all's brotherhood and culture. But what I can do is stick by my word. What I can do is deliver. You know, and what I do, what I do know how to do is be an asset. In whatever situation, once I know my parameters, we can rock y'all. I'm a creative beast. That's what I do. And so, you know, whatever it is, you know, as an investor that you're up against, rationalizing whether or not to deal in this area with me or anything on this side, just know. I pay a lot of attention to detail. Um, I like to go into circumstances where something has, like like I like, like I want to buy into the Millennium brand. You know what I mean? Because nobody's really doing it right, but I don't want to do it in LA. But if we brand out here, then we got to leverage all my clients and leverage all the new hot kids that I got now. Cause you keep saying Chris Brown, but I ain't talked to that dude in two and a half, three months. I'm not thinking Chris Brown. I got anti-pop. I got the new JR, which he looks like Chris, but he sounds like Usher and he's 19. I got Pilar. She's like Alicia Keys. She's 18. I'm on, I'm past him. You know, now Chris calls me and I may or may not be available. We're not at the, oh, I'm at your beckoning call. We're at the shit. I done made three million off you. You, you, you I can't really teach you shit else. <laughs> so if you want to call me, I know you need me because you want to see your big bro. You want to see your friend around, but fuck, you can direct your own videos. I taught you everything I know. You 20 minutes from my son. <laughs> you don't need me. Let me go home. I got a daughter like you got one now. You ended up having your daughter before me. You don't get to me. What the hell you going to? You somebody's daddy. That's how me and Chris Brown are. And it's all positive, but it's on to the next. Yeah. And he wants to see me have somewhere where he can have fucking tour rehearsal and pay one rate and he's yeah, trusting yeah. his boy. You know, I like we went there. That would probably be, I mean, obviously, you know, you can dance. I mean, obviously, I mean, that's besides the point. <laughs> I mean, but it's bringing the people in, not even just the, the, the kids or whatever teaching class. That's right. Like, not even that. It's, right. That's not, that's going to pay the bills a little bit, but bringing the big wigs in, that's what's really going to get the thing to go up. And that's all I do. Yeah. And like I say to the investors or the people that's surrounding all this hype, oh, fly, you can dance, you can bring this, oh, oh, fly, you're going to make it all. No. I ask, how are you going to make money? Mm -hmm. This is how I answer that question. What's within the business system? If it ain't all the revenue streams, like... Look, if I was you, I wouldn't just buy no dance studio either. I wouldn't even came over here. <laughs> Death, damn sure wouldn't have came back for a second visit. If it's all, if that's all it's gonna fucking be. I can do that shit outside. I got an app that I just created where I'm gonna let dance, it's gonna be dance teachers saying my class is at the park, meaning we're not even using dance studios yeah. anymore. We're gonna be out there with people doing Tai Chi and yoga. The, the, the yeah. surroundings is free, but the class is paid for already like Uber. You gotta watch out about permits with that shit. I'm already, psh, nobody going, if people outside doing yoga, no, they ain't gonna permits. jack them. You go to, you go to, uh, you go to uh, Long Beach, you go to uh, Santa Monica, you have to pull a permit to, in order to do yoga class on the beach. Right, well, we'll see <laughs> if they stop us from doing the running. Yeah. But at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just saying, we're gonna make dance studios obsolete mm -hmm. in a minute, all together. Everything's about to be virtual. So, mm -hmm. like, right now, in the next four years, like, I just Uber dance teaching with an app, y'all. 
I just made it so that if I'm in Korea right now and we're having this conversation, somebody can go on, find out I'm in Korea, know when I get back, book a class in a private on a specific day at a specific time, and the money's all, I'm already spending it before I leave Korea. Yeah. Okay, I, that's my new shit. So that's just an app. But what I'm telling you that to say is, we're gonna let our app run our our facility. You can book all the stuff through the app. Exactly. We're gonna I, kiss I, those together. That's why I always. So that's another same. revenue stream I'm gonna bring. So like if you were to ever pull out your wallet and say, okay, well let me live up. Okay, prove it. Give you fucking, you got a year. Okay, cool. Watch how much shit attached to it. To, to rev it. It, should, it don't even run off gas. This shit should be a flux capacitor. Because you'll have an app moving it. Everything's virtual there. Then you got a celeb pushing it. A dance celeb. You can put my name on the awning. The Fly Academy thing's gonna fly. And then I'm gonna reach out to people who are younger and hotter than me. And back up. Back out of the way. So you'll have Wildebeest and Kay Harris and Ian Eastwood. All they followings together equal about seven million. Just that. Then, then the other ones. And the, but the name's gonna get. You're out not there. gonna need me anymore. I'm gonna get you so par, far past Fly Styles. Your first. Your first. Our first gathering in there. You'll supersede me and who I've been. It'll be on and into these kids. Like Kay Harris just got a degree. Uh, deodorant, you know, a degree campaign. She just, you know, these people are who I want around us, you know, um, so that they want to shoot commercials and do, you know, we should have that allure. We should be that magnet. Nobody has the gloss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I just, you know, when I help uh, Tommy yeah. to, you know, start, start, mm -hmm. you know, his business, mm -hmm. you know, the business thing that he really, really want to do. Yeah. Very so. It down. If I knew that you were interested in going that route, I'd go get Brandon, who owns Millennium Dance Complex, and get us a fucking deal. But that's not, that wouldn't be Fly Academy, right? Right. It's just, if, if you wanted, if you want a franchise, that's because that was the franchising thing. Now yeah. his, now if we come with 40 for me, <laughs> no, we need this 5,000 square feet and two two levels. I'll go bonkers. I have a place right over here on Hollywood Way, which is literally where my finger is pointing. That way, a quarter of a mile and you make a left, and then you go up another quarter of a mile and it's on your left. Yeah. And See, the thing is, if he did Fly Academy, it'd be two separate entities. Millennium is already an established dance community. Yeah. So all he would do is teach kids or teach people. Mm -hmm. Fly Academy would have that with maybe recording music mm -hmm. or recording videos. Entertainment curriculum. And then, but the Millennium thing, you would have to pay franchise fees to them. Mm -hmm. And if you decided to do with the other stuff, you know. You know, you know, like a simple teaching. Yeah, it would be. Fees, yeah. You know, dancing. That's yeah. All. Yeah. Well, well, that's Millennium, what you it's a basic dance studio. That's complex. a basic dance studio. That's it's a basic what, dance. But complex. you're paying royalties to Millennium. You know what I mean? Or well, we can franchise ourselves and like outdo Millennium and, and create a better um, experience for for dancers and choreographers. And that's why you want to go in with the recording facility, the editing bay, because nobody's putting dancers in a position where the cameras are already in the walls. I'm not totally familiar with mm. Same thing this with me. kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same way. Yeah. I'm yeah, finally yeah, yeah. just grasping kind of a little bit just talking to him and Tommy. So yeah. as far as construction, you want, you want a room built like this, I could do that. Put hardwood floors in, I could do that. I could put speakers and lights in, no problem. Yeah. But all that other stuff, I don't know. I have to, I have to put Easy. Fly Academy. Yeah, Fly would... It's a, Easy. The Fly Academy and Fly have a lot of fucking potential there. Better than Millennium Dance Complex. We'll, we'll, we'll be way better, Tommy. Because even if he did the, the thing of Fly Academy with just a single dance studio, you're not paying royalties to the franchise fees. You know, yeah, that's going to take a lot of money out the time. We can do franchise. You can become a franchise you know, company. Before I belong to them, we cannot 
And yeah, we would burgers. rather. They pay have they have name. strict guidelines. Like any franchise, you know, like McDonald's, you can't go make your own burger, you know, and they have their own set rules, you know, and that might limit the amount of what he could do, you know. He might not be able to to go and use use a studio as a recording for something because they might want a portion of it or something. I don't know, but that's my guess. Yeah, I mean, if we create our own lane, you better call it cat. <laughs> No, it's called. I called it. Oh. If, 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 if we want to create our own land, it's probably going to be more powerful. And then people are going to follow me. When they find out it's, it's my whole little thing, and, and then I get my boys behind me, and all these different things. Tommy, between like, you know, like, a, what's that? Rental, rental, or rent, you know, renting in a place. Or you know dancing and then make some money for you know rent. How could you make some money if Tommy doing that business? What what is your you know like a big profit? You know? A big profitable uh, area profit center with just dance studios, just a regular dance studio. Uh, classes and rentals, classes and rentals alone. You know just daily rentals if we charge. Um, depending on how many rooms we have, you know, and, you know, you start at about 40, 45 dollars an hour. And you can get up to as high as, you know, $60 an hour if you want. And um, they're booked, you know, that's a $400, $600 per room per day. Um, Who would be in the, they just rent the rooms out to practice? Yeah, it's a dance studio. Oh, okay. Once they find out there's a new one, motherfuckers just go. I've, ne I've never morning. been to one, so I, honestly, I don't even know. So I they, got you. So they just rent them out just to practice in? We need a place to dance. Chris Brown's wow. gonna do the Jay Leno show. Where are we gonna rehearse? Oh, we need okay. somewhere to dance. Well, I mean, he's a part. He's a part to you know, just in the health. No, 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 no. Like, uh, okay, you say it's a corporation, and then you invest. And then your name on it, fly name on it, my name on it. Then we are one team. Mm -hmm. And then you do your way. And then sometimes you check that you check just finance, right? Mm -hmm. And then just my, just I try my my fear. We put the fly academy, put here, mm -hmm. and then we first time land studio, and then he can do bring his own group. What about I open my dance studio so you can use? Then I give you shot, so more, more little discount. You go use use to use so, that so, place. So you him come is in. like a this is a partnership, right? Indeed. Then, then yes. we're gonna make curriculum because when we make curriculum and register curriculum, some, some kind of education system, get gonna be take time. So first time just open learn to, learn to system. But gonna be probably have give some ideas so make like a movie studio or a little teaching kid dance whatever class that is a first time money <coughs> land fee second time education fee this is two way I did right yeah that is a basic money the true potential no I think Talk English now. Mm. What do you say? You talk English. Please. They have to understand. <laughs> Speak now. You talk. Just make a plan and then mm. go for go for it. I'm not question. sure I'm not sure I'm going to, you know, put my money on it or not. But we need to uh, devise the uh, plan. Yeah, we need a uh, uh, concrete plan. Yeah, consideration for consideration of uh, you know doing this kind of business. But you know, this is my first time. Mm -hmm. and then I need more information, yeah. and then I need more things to you know uh, make my. Right. Uh, you know, yeah, you can see a profit center, yeah, and you can see what's going on. I mean, I can put something together if we need to put something together for them to you see. Know, my part, investment, I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Okay. But, you know, we need to, you know, yeah. have a 
have to check. Like a comic three, and then your three, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. three. Yeah. yeah. I'm totally ready. All I need to know is that I can activate the agencies, that I can tell the people that I'm coming with this, and then we can structure a business system around it. I just need to know. So based on what you said, I'm done. All I need to know. I, I, you know, you have a you know, big portion mm -hmm. of this business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tommy also you know, said that. So that's why you know, I ask you, partnership so he said indeed indeed we have to it's only right he's bringing everything that's going to make it move right now i mean i could be running around trying to get investors all over the place i have so many projects this is where i love to deal with tommy he knows how to focus on things like this better than i do so, so you know tomorrow tomorrow um you know, back you know Korea. You I mean, spent the ten days okay. down back to LA, uh, October eighteenth. Okay. And uh, so you know, after that time, we are going to you know, have a you know meeting together again. Yes. And then just you know, more give me a more information more and then more information. Yeah, sure. right? We just like place, maybe yeah. a space oh, yeah. and square yeah, space foot so, and then pricing yeah, yeah everything yeah. what yeah. you would yeah. need yeah. inside yeah. that yeah. studio yeah. because finish that's going to be a big portion finish it yeah finish it yeah lay it out yeah it's just okay the we can lay it out you know what <laughs> i mean like obviously you're going to need a kick-ass sound system in there yeah i just know it i need <laughs> to know it's okay to lay it out and yeah that's all i just to start writing at least in the price you know name what it is yeah. Price name, what it is. Price yeah. you can always look. You know the Sony Ericsson digital head unit. You can always look and for that somewhere else. Corporation system. Got yeah. you. Yeah. That is better, right? Yes. So. And and I'll, I'll make sure I put together what is needed, and I'll bounce it off you, Tommy. Mm. Uh, yeah, because I've made a few. I ain't, this ain't my first rodeo, mm -hmm. so this is the only. Like I already know where the building is. Like the the building that I'm going. How long has it been vacant for? Uh, shit, two months, two months, and they've let one or two rooms in it go. But it's 6,400 square feet. It's 32 at the bottom, up top. Oh, it's two level. <laughs> Damn. And it's very close to here, so you know, young Armenian guy I deal with, very uh. Yeah. I'll I'll call him. I'll call him soon. I th I'm sure everything's still 100. So I just know so many buildings that that we can it's use. always easy to find rent you know a space on that but yeah. the, you know the biggest thing would be you filling it yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be yeah. that's gonna be the biggest part everything else can be worked out it's you filling it because oh, obviously come. you know that would be the, the majority of the stuff they will come i mean just me doing construction on it alone me picking up people from home depot is going to cut cost in half <laughs> <laughs> there's a lack of uh dance studios in, in a little area. background on that's me. a good feel for I've walked through every single project in Los Angeles, my mm -hmm. White House, from the Pueblos to the Watchtower, everywhere. Mm -hmm. I've been to every single one, and I ain't okay. pushing. Okay, no. I got shot bullshit. in Compton. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I, I've been there, done that. So I've been around a time or two, so I know, okay. you know, I know yeah, what time right. it is. But. Royalty person can smell each other, royalty. Very, very. Yeah. Okay. We good?